In this video clip, I will be referring to personal boats. This does not apply to commercial haul, cargo, or other maritime insurance. Now, there are several interesting issues regarding insuring your boat. If you are trailering the boat with a vehicle insured by a personal auto policy, you should have liability insurance under your personal auto liability for damages to the others done by the trailer. Also, under broad form homeowners policies, you can actually have coverage for the boat while the boat is on your home's premises. Now there are two common ways that people insure their boat. One is by adding a watercraft liability endorsement to their homeowner's policy and then buying a boat policy through their homeowner's insurance company. Often this is the less expensive route. Now the other route is to purchase a boat policy from an insurance company that specializes in boat insurance. Even though this route could be more costly, the increased cost can be offset with a discount for taking a boating safety course and it might be better protection. Now allow me to explain. First of all, boat policies are not standardized, which means there are many different policy forms being offered. As a result, my explanation will be a generalization. So let's take a look at the first scenario. Your neighbor and you go water skiing. While you're skiing, your neighbor is operating the boat. He runs over another boat. There's damage to your boat, the other boat, and its passengers. Your boat is covered either way. But the homeowner's watercraft liability endorsement only covers the named insureds of the homeowner's policy. Since your neighbor is not an insured, there's no protection. Meanwhile, the specialized boat policy's liability section could have liability insurance called Protection and Indemnity, or p and The p and will cover all operators that have your permission. Now bingo, there's coverage. Or how about this scenario? Your boat is stolen from a hotel at North Padre Island. Your fishing gear was locked in the storage compartment of the boat. The boat is covered under either policy, but your Shalmano Calcutta's are different. With your homeowner's company, the boat policy will protect only your boat, motor, and trailer. Then the homeowner's policy pays for your $2,500 worth of fishing tackle. Uh-oh. You've got a 2% homeowner's deductible on a $200,000 home. That's a $4,000 deductible. The tackle is below your deductible. The insurance company pays zip for your Calcutta's. Many of the specialized boat policies allocate a certain amount of coverage for your personal property, so there could be coverage. Now be careful in this area. Many of these policies have requirements that the equipment must be in locked compartments within the boat. Either way you go, you need to be sure that your boat and your liability is covered. Hey, good luck and good fishing, and take care.